Whoop a dee scoop. Whoop a dee whoop scoop whoop whoop. Whoop a dee scoop a dee whoop whoop. Whoop a dee whoop 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 scoop. Whoop a dee whoop a dee scoop whoop whoop. So guys, I told you on Friday night I'm gonna open my seeking account back up because uh it's sugar daddy season. <laughs> <laughs> say hello <laughs> say hello say hello to my little friend how do you feel about women who have been in the nightlife uh no you know what it's not gonna happen i don't know many women who walk away psychologically balanced looking at men in a healthy way from dancing it's it's like it's like being a bartender you don't you see people at the worst let me know how much it costs so we can go ahead and get to the sex hello hello how are you I'm well. How are you? I'm well. I just want to say that I do love your show and I respect it. Uh, how old are you? I'll be 30 in July, so I'm 29. So, you heard the starting part. A lot of women today almost seem like they want to be paid to be women. What do you think about that? Um, it's, it's kind of true. It's okay. true. I can admit. We might have the wrong mindset overall with um, relationships. Okay, where did it come from? This type of behavior was initially inherited from Eve's disobedience in the garden. It's what I've called a faith deficit. Faith, F-A-I-T-H. Okay, in recent history, feminism was Satan deceiving the woman once again to rebel against God. This is in the form of feminism, in the form of all of these liberal socialist policies. Mm, I guess Disney fairy tales. Um, our parents, aunts. Are you single? I am. I just got out of the situation, actually. And I don't know if it's something that you talked about on your show before, but I think it's something that would be good for your show. Okay. With the, your last situation? Yes. Okay, we'll get to it, but I don't know any Disney story where a man had to pay for a woman. To be a I woman. mean, not exactly pay for her, but you know, the princess and just that type of thing. Okay. The, the, the Disney book. No, I don't. I don't. I'm trying to no? like, where is it that a princess, but anyway, what is the story you have? Okay, so I'm just wondering, in your opinion, how do you feel about women who have been in the industry in general? I know you respect the hustle. Say again? Your phone's going slow. Women who have been in the industry, like the nightlife. Let me put, my, let me put this headphone in because something's going with the audio. And somebody... Okay. Ask your question again. How do you feel about women who have been in the nightlife? Women working in the nightlife. Yes, and then finding a real authentic relationship. Now, Kevin Samuels is on record voicing his support for fornication, abortion, sugar daddy behavior. And the truth he spoke was not supported with scriptures. But let's listen to what else he has to say. Uh, depends on what you mean by nightlife. You mean like dancing or something like that? Dancing, bartending, being an entrepreneur on top of that. Uh, no. No what? It's not going to happen. Well, well, I mean, those are three different things. Mm -hmm. Being a but dancer, um, I don't, I, I don't know many women who walk away psychologically balanced looking at men in a healthy way from dancing. Okay, Leviticus 19.29 says, Do not prostitute your daughter to cause her to be a harlot, lest the land fall into harlotry and the land become full of wickedness. Okay, this is where the USA is at today. So I really don't see the difference between a dancer and a woman involved with a sugar daddy. Okay, both have the same ambition to break that man's bank and that woman, she'll be looking 
at the man in an unhealthy way after she's finished with him. And that's what happened near the end of Kevin Samuel's life. Okay, the synagogue sent Nicki Minaj to scope him out. Okay, then they sent Brittany Renner. It would not surprise me if she was the last woman he was with before he died. Then, when he passed, she just moved on to the next march. Uh, P.J. Washington, she got a baby with him. Then she was seen in public on a date with Shaquille O'Neal. Because we expect to be... Because it's a game. Well, I don't. I mean, I mean, it's it's like it's like being a bartender. You don't you see people at their worst. Um, and so I mean, can it happen? Sure. It, is it likely? Not really. Uh, not healthy, because where are the kind of the men that are going there are going for what reason? To be entertained. So something that they're not getting at home. Correct? Well, whatever, whatever, whatever it is, it's 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 kind of hard to undo what you. If we see you out making money dancing, um, that's going to always be. It's going to be in a guy's mind. So now bartending, depending upon your where you're tending bar, but that's still, you know, that's that's not like dancing. But when you say entrepreneur, what does that mean? E-commerce business, e-commerce sales. See, the issue I have with all this kind of stuff is it's so hard to understand what it is. Um, a small business online of selling products. You could be flipping stuff on eBay or Amazon. That's fine. Okay. Okay, but but the the but is it something that you that you know, as long as it's legal, but is it something you plan on doing uh, for the rest of your life, or is it just something you're doing now? Are you talking about the e-commerce business? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. Because we talked yeah. about dancing. We talked about bartending and stripping. Those are hustles, short-term right. hustles. But selling something online, you know, even if you just drop shipping or whatever, but is it, are we talking about building a real business or are we talking about a hustle? No, building a real business, having a private label, you know, having actual products, not just drop shipping. Okay. Well, and being a small business, but I know you, I think you said before, if, your business cannot benefit the man. It's kind of it's not as important. I mean, well, those were your exact words, but you get what that's I'm that's the that's the broad. It depend, also depends on the what you're doing. I mean, if a man wants a wife and kids, what comes first? How can what what what, what something? If you can't do it all, what it gives? It all goes back to the Garden of Eden. Okay, Satan convinced Eve that she could have it all. And the woman by nature is always curious of what's on the other side, which is why God commanded us men not to give her alternatives. Okay, we are to love our wives as Christ loved the church. Anything less is whoredom and an open door for Satan. And the scriptures already foretell that even the righteous women whom are virgins will keep their virgin rather than marrying or being unequally yoked to a rich, unbelieving man. So it goes both ways. What gives? If mm -hmm. You got a husband, you got, you got, a, if you got, if you're married and you got kids, how are you going to do all that in the business? You're right. It would be hard to juggle, but it happens. Does it? I think so. I've seen successful women entrepreneurs, but black women. Okay, I've seen a lot of successful women, black entrepreneurs, but majority of the time they are single. What do you what do you what do you get from that knowledge right there? Um it's hard to balance. There is no balance. There is no balance. And a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, according to Proverbs chapter eleven, verse one. Okay, many liberal feminist women, especially black women, they hate to hear that the Most High did not create her to be in the numbers of the workforce, no matter how minimal the burden. Okay, one of the reasons is because she has one week out of the month for her impurity. She's supposed to be in fasting and prayer during that period. 
because life is going out of her. Christ is the bread of life. Most women don't want to hear that, though. It's why they have so many demons on them, okay? Kevin Samuels is right that she needs to devote most of her time to being a helpmeet, nurturing the children, taking care of home, okay? But because Satan is the god of this world, he has used the knowledge from the tree of good and evil, okay? The Bab Babylonian mystery school system, okay? He's used it to open doors for the woman to market her beauty. I don't know if you guys noticed that in these last days, okay? Satan understands that sex is more a part of the woman's identity. It doesn't matter if she's playing basketball in the WNBA or if she's some secretary for a Fortune 500 company, okay? She can be flipping stuff on eBay, making sales due to pretty privilege. I mean, it does not constitute as porn, but it's soft prostitution, okay? Not only fans level type of sin, but the Most High did not create her to be a stumbling block. That's why he shortened the time that a woman has in these last days the, the, to be in her prime, to be at the peak of her beauty. It wasn't always like that. In the Old Testament, women were beautiful for far more years than they are to this day. The woman has maybe a five-year window to be at the peak of her beauty before what they call father time starts setting in. But really, it's just a curse from the Most High God because of the woman's disobedience. Because okay. when you get, a, you get an entrepreneur, you're generally getting boss bitch energy. But what if you don't give off that energy? A blind squirrel will find a, a nut. Somebody got to win the lotto. But I don't deal with what ifs. I deal with what, what is. Okay. Do you want to be the provider or do you want your husband to be the provider? I want my husband to be the provider. I, I don't want to pay significant bills. Okay. So, again, it's one thing to have to take care of yourself. But it's another mm -hmm. thing to still be trying to be a mother, a wife, and a business owner. You cannot have it all. You got to give something up. Okay. You either so give up, you give up the husband. Generally, to give up the husband is what you give up. As a black woman, that's yeah. only what we give yeah, up. Because okay. that's what you choose. So, if as a black woman, that's not something that I would want to give up. Do you suggest that I just stop my business and just search for that? Well, no, that's, that's, that, the, that's a different question. Husband. That's a different question. All right. Why? Before I answer that, why can non-black women seem to balance being wives and running businesses like you're talking about and being mothers uh, and not have to give up one or the other? I think maybe so. More white and non-black women were brought up to be that way. Let's just go. If we go with that, mm -hmm. how do you change that energy? Because here's the thing. Before we, t I don't want to get too far down that path because that'll take us off target. Okay, are you a wife? Is the question. See, I'm a lot of right okay, a lot of women ask about you know later on, but the big question is: Are you? Do you want to be a part of your husband's team, or do you want a partner? I want to be part of my husband's team. All right. I feel like I'm a better asset by being a, a team player than me being the lead myself. All my right. Team. How do you say you are again? I'll be 30 in July. All right. Um, have you always wanted to be married? No. When did this happen? Probably when I started watching you. And that's the problem. And this is the problem mm -hmm. because so many of our women start to recognize later in life, close around 30, that this isn't the real play. So mm -hmm. it's not as though... Um, the men are looking for anything different. It's like you have to make, you have to be what those guys are looking for. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you got to have a job right now because you got to be able to take care of yourself. And most women want to be able to have a man who, a man who can provide, but men who can provide come with rules. Mm 
And they do. And a lot of men who provide step outside of the marriage as well. So? And that's okay, right? I'm just asking. I'm asking you, can, think, you if, can you handle it? If, uh, here's a question. Can you handle it if they do? Yes. There's a reason. I know a lot of women don't like that, but a lot of women today want it all. I'm like mm -hmm. the cleanup, Betty Wright, uh, the cleanup woman. I mean, grandmama, granddaddy. I don't know. I don't, I, I have, I feel a sympathy, empathy from women today because you've been told you could have it all yeah. and you can't. Okay. And it's about choices and trade-offs. What is more important? Do you want a man who doesn't have, who, who doesn't step out? Because I'm not saying every guy guy will, but I'm saying if he does and you don't find out about it, what difference does it make? It doesn't make a difference. So I go look at the problem. That's being, my point. But being in the nightlife a little bit, I think you're more open-minded to those type of things because you see more. So I think my mindset might be different from the the average. No woman. Average what woman? Um, average. I think a lot of black women want. I'm gonna say modern. I think, a, I think a lot of I think a lot of sisters want. I think a lot of sisters have a fantasy view of marriage because I don't. You want alpha provide alpha male providers, alpha male looks, alpha male height, all this alpha, alpha, alpha. Then you want strict loyalty and monogamy, and like that doesn't exist. Not in math. So it's about choices and trade-offs. Mm -hmm. and, and at 30 years old, I would say, do you want children? I have one child. How old? She's five. You got to be able to answer that question too. Kevin Samuels does a great job painting the hardships of marriage. It's just incredibly difficult for modern women to find a God-fearing man who is monogamous, okay, which is biblical. Because guys are always going to ask, why didn't you marry the child's father? Right. And women don't like when I say that you don't typically get higher than your baby daddy. Mm. Okay. And what and what would that put would that put you in a, was your is your ex a provider male? I wouldn't say so not right now at this moment. But but he has been a provider male. Okay. Yeah. Me so there's nothing wrong with him. He's, he's, a, he's a great guy. He's a great father. But right. he could go through trials and tribulations. I'm going to say that. Of course. So, I mean, yeah. life happens to everybody. Yeah. You know? And it's getting back up, and that's what's going on. But me, personally, we just blew apart. But it's I know a, for you, you feel like marriage is not all about love. I know that as well. Well, it's not. It's not. So... It's not. I mean, we can we can say that shit when people live to be forty years old. Okay, let's just take. Do you think it's about love? Mm, no. Did you used to? I did. All right. What if we lived to be three hundred? I did. I used to think it was a, a fairy tale. Well, so is it just over between you and your child's father forever? Yes. Irreconcilable. Yes. I'm gonna be honest, man. Um, we're we're great friends. We get along. We're we're. Amazing. I get I get it, but you got to look at the men who will come next. Exactly, but this society convinces the woman that there is always something better. Far too many, and far too many guys today, especially black men, are starting to say we're not stepping up to be stepdaddies. Mm -hmm. It's not, especially the kind of men who can, especially the men who are in the top twenty percent mm -hmm. who can who can call some shots. So what does that leave women? What does that leave a lot of women? Um, if you're looking strictly for husbands, if men who are in the marrying category aren't looking to be stepfathers, what does that, what does that look, what does that mean? I didn't hear the last part of my phone. Right if now. men who are in the husband category are not looking to mm -hmm. be stepfathers, what does that leave women with children who want to be married? Single or sidelined. Or, and that's an unfortunate reality. That is going to, that's going to prohibit you more than anything else, the kid. And I'm not supposed to say it, but it's the truth. Especially when you start talking about a man who can, who can make some, some choices. Um, so ladies, I don't know. 
And, and why we're on this is because you ladies have been, women in general have been told the opposite. And that's where all this confusion is coming in. Yeah, mm-hmm. y'all aren't getting the result. So um, I'll ask you a question before we run. If you're not getting back to the child's father, how do you think you can make your asset to the, how do you think you can make your child an asset to the kind of man you want to marry? How can I make my child an asset? To the kind of man you would want to marry. Um, I would have to, I feel like I would have to train her to be an asset as in get her ready for life in general. Put her in classes, make sure she's smart, make sure she's not, you know, put in that time to make her a better, a better person. Correct? I'm asking. No, I'm asking because I'm, I'm asking. asking. Am I right? I'm, no, I'm, I, oh, the question is how to make some your child an asset to that man. That right. makes her. That makes her an okay person. But how 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 can your doubt? And this is a question all all women are going to have to answer for themselves. How are my children benefiting you as my as my husband? I never thought about that. Well. And that's what, what, what would you suggest? I'm just wondering because I I'm, um it, I would say it's going to be extremely difficult. But what I would suggest is women who actually think about it from the man's side, understanding that my child today is a liability because it costs. So number one, um, is she well mannered, well behaved, smart, taking care? Does she understand? And do I really believe that you're going to come second to my husband? Mm-hmm. Is my husband going to come first or is it we're a package deal? If you're a package deal, that's no deal. I'll be honest. It's a package deal. That's no deal because let's say you and I were to get married. You got a daughter, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say we have two kids together mm-hmm. and your child is five. So 10 years from now, your daughter comes home and says, Kevin touched you. Looked at me getting out of the shower. What happens next? The relationship will have to end. Huh? That's not something the relationship would end immediately. Because because your daughter said I looked at her getting out of the shower. Why would that person even be close to the bathroom to see her? Mm-hmm. That that would that would be the thing. You have to defend your seed. You have to defend your child. Mm-hmm. But but you also remember you got two of my kids. Mm-hmm. So that means I should never listen to it. That means I should avoid women like you because off the rip, your desire to defend your child mm-hmm. blew up. Two, I'm, you got two of my kids and off rip, your protective instinct says, fuck everything, including those other two kids. Understood. Do you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, you said the relationship would have to end. So, what would I mean, you tell? What would you tell? What would you tell our two children? That's a tough situation. No, you said the relationship would have to end. So it, I mean, it, it would have to end because. But, but what I, would I you tell to any of my kids? If I have three kids, one by someone else, and two by my my. But what I'm husband. telling you, what, what what I'm saying is, what we tell our two children. Again, Satan, being the god of this world gives the most power to the weakest vessels. But for example, the Gentiles, women and children, that this is spiritual warfare. In these last days, the Gentiles, women and children are the weaker vessels. Okay, but that's a whole nother video. Your half-sister stated this happened and this is not a comfortable situation and we have to part ways. You can get the fuck out. out. You can get the fuck out. Because mm, I'm not the one paying the bills. No, you know, because you're not taking my kids. Mm-hmm. See, that's what I mean. Y'all act like y'all got too much power. It's not power. I, I'm really first of all, you didn't even act, first off, you didn't even, I just said if she said it, you yeah. didn't even, you didn't even, you didn't even question whether or not the claim was there. Mm-hmm. Because that's your child. That's why I'm saying your child can never be an asset to anybody because that's the bomb that's always there. Okay. Because, and, and what the fuck, what could, what could a man do about that? I could provide everything. We could have children and automatically you're going to jump off rip, go for your child, your child. So don't ask me to treat your child mm-hmm. like 
it's biologically mine when you be willing to blow up my biological children's shit for something else. To, and you know kids can say anything. They can, but you have to protect your kids at all costs. Then, then but you have to talk. Then no. Mm-hmm. Then leave. No. No. See, I want you to understand that you have no empathy for men. You is about you and your kid. Mm-hmm. I'm somebody's child. Yeah. What about those children we have together? Ma'am, you're not right in this. I'm not debating you. But, 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 I'm, but I'm, we're debating the concept. Yeah, that you got to protect your kids at all costs. So then you need to go be with your child's father, and y'all need to work that out so that can never come up. Because let's switch the situation. If I'm that child's biological father, and she comes out of the shower, and, and 10 years later, daddy looked at me a certain kind of way and, and I'm her dialogical dad then what do you say see yeah, but, but see but you notice how you couldn't pull rank on me you couldn't pull that we got to separate you couldn't pull rank on me you couldn't pull biological rank you want to but you're like well damn it's his, it's his kid too Mm-hmm. It would have to be an end situation as well. And, and you'd have to get the that, fuck out. That, and, you'd out. and you'd have to get out. And you'd have to get out. Understood. I completely understand that. So would the end would be for who? You'd be leaving. Mm-hmm. But that's not what you're talking about. You're talking about the end situation. I'd be leaving with my child. I understand, Kevin. And I want everybody in the audience to understand. This is why you don't deal with women with children because, especially in our community, there is no blending families when this kind of stuff comes up because you, single mothers are too used to pulling rank. Okay. This is why you're so, single mothers are potentially so dangerous because mm-hmm. you're not used to having to actually split the responsibility. It's your child. And that's fine. But then if, why should any man have to deal with that? So I feel sorry for you ladies, but this is the positions a lot of women put themselves in, and then we're supposed to do what about it? Because if it was biologically my child, you said it would be over. Why, why would you not question your child? Why would you not question your dad? Why would you not just say, girl, whatever, that's your daddy? Why would you just why why would you blow up a marriage? Why would you just believe her? Why would I just believe my daughter? Yeah. Children lie. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? Too. Excuse me. Uh, I said look. And you said grown men yep, lie. This, and this, okay, you said grown men lie too. I said She's, okay, so, and this is my point. And this is my point. We go all the way back to the club and the, and the bartending. And that's why I mentioned your mentality is warped. You don't trust men. Mm-hmm. But See, if, I I would, brought, if, if I never brought that aspect up, would your sentiments be the same? Uh, we'd have got there eventually because it's all ultimately going to come down to what you, how you feel about men. Mm-hmm. See, I'm always on task. You may not know why I'm asking what I'm asking, but the point of the matter is whatever issue or the way, whatever the way you look at men is just going to taint, it's going gonna, it's gonna to color your perception of men throughout everything else. Okay. And it would be better for you to understand that and men to understand that and just leave each other alone because, man, do you think highly of men? No. No. Then go get a girlfriend. That no. But 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 thing is, you but you're you're asking a man to be a provider, male and this and that. You want a man to do what he's supposed to, and you don't even give men a baseline of respect. I you don't. Know, you say I, I don't want. I'm not. I'm not going to argue with you because I understand where you're coming from. But I say, do you think highly of men? And I I'm working on my my thought process of men, so I'm That's not. Fair. Ready. I, I'm That's not. That's fair. 
Yeah, I'm That's not fair. ready for a marriage yet. I do have a lot of things to work on, and I do watch your videos a lot. I can take in what you're saying 110%. And I, oh, I get it. You're myself. not being rude. I get it. But what I'm saying is, ultimately, it's you got to put yourself in a man's position. Even, let's say, when you're ready, when your your thought press is ready, you got to think of it this way. Why should I, as a man, risk a rehabbed woman? There you have it. A rehab woman. As our salvation is narrow and difficult, so it is for a man to find a wife who is not a rehab woman. And a rehab woman is a woman who is fallen victim to the generational curses from the disobedience stretching back to when Eve disobeyed in the Garden of Eden.